Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Roxana Steiner. I'm Peaches Lot. We want to invite you to this amazing series about the mountains and valleys of attachment. Roxana and I were able to tape this um, for a presentation we did with Parents as Teachers International uh, Conference in Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. In 2022, actually. It was so much fun. Um, so we have broken these down into a number of series uh, segments, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we just want to invite you to sit back and enjoy each one of them and just have fun with us and leave some comments and feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Yes. Enjoy. We're gonna be talking about the mountains and valleys of attachment. And when you think about attachment, you can think about so many things. And so we're gonna to try to bring all of our knowledge and expertise into focus all learning and growth is grounded in relationships. We know and we understand that a deeper understanding of emotional development and relationship building is the foundation for building relationships that foster lifelong health, growth, and learning. So today, our focus will be on one of the key emotional milestones, which is attachment. And we all know that as adults, relationship building can feel like you are on the top of the mountain. Other times it can feel like you're climbing a mountain. And sometimes it can feel like you're going through a valley and starting from the bottom or even in a lost valley. So what we wanna invite you to do now is take a look at this photo. What do you see in this photo in regards to attachment and or relationships? Roxana, you want to share what you thought about when you saw this photo? Yeah, I, I, I look at this beautiful um, relationship between this child and, uh, and this, this woman, uh, how they're holding each other. Right. And then the, the background, oh my gosh, the, the valleys, the, the road paths, right. Of travel, the, um, the ground, some is green, some is rocky. Um, the, the peaks, the clouds, right. I mean, there's just, I could sit here for hours and just be engrossed in that. Um, but that's, that's relationships. I'll, I'll say that's life, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is exactly what we're going to be talking about today as it be, pertains to relationship and life. And so we're going to take a moment to introduce ourselves. And you, you already have a picture of us, but we're going to show you a different picture. Roxanne, can you drive the the PowerPoint for me. Yep, I will. Do you see that? Um, I do. I do not see it, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. I have switched it. Yep. Okay, <laughs> you're good. You're good. We're All up. right. So, so for those of the uh, uh, those of you who have uh, clicked on and you're like, okay, these ladies haven't even told us who they are, and they just start talking. Well, that's who we are. We are all about the relationship first and the content begins to find its way into the conversation. Mm -hmm. And so my name is Peaches Lot, and many people in the field call me Peaches and I'm absolutely fine with my nickname being used. Um, my given name is Ovella Lot, but it's always so much fun and easier for children to use Peaches as my name. And so it has grown with me throughout my 30 something years in early care and education. And so just a little bit about me, I work with Roxana at Loom Institute in St. Louis, Missouri, where we do a few things. We uh, support organizations and the people within those organizations in becoming more relational in their practice with children and families. 
And so, so many of us are striving to understand what does it mean to be present, to connect, to advance, how to reflect and show up for families in a genuine way. And so the work that Roxana and I do at Loom Institute allows us to consult, partner, and, um, and just be with educators and those alike. And I like to think of myself in, um, in a way that um, what makes me extraordinary. So one of the things that I think that makes me really extraordinary and great at the work that I do is that I am a genuine listener. I listen with not only my ears, but I also listen with my heart. And in the field of early care and education, as well as human services, that's important. That's an important character trait to have. And so I hold very true to that as part of what makes me extraordinary. Another thing that makes me really extraordinary is my connectedness to, to all human beings. <laughs> um, you have animal people, you have, you know, food people. I'm a people people. I love people. And if you have an opportunity to be in my presence, Roxana's smiling because she knows what I'm going to say. If you have an opportunity to be in my presence. You're definitely going to get a hug at some point, fist bump high five, whichever you prefer, prefer, but we are going to connect physically and emotionally in a very genuine way. The other piece that I believe makes me extraordinary is that I have hope and I believe that within my lifetime, there will be very positive changes in the way that we support educators, children, and families in our society. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. I know you've read my bio, but just wanted to introduce myself a little bit more. Roxana, you want to share a little bit about yourself as well? Yes, of course. And Peaches gives, just FYI, the best hugs, the best hugs. They're um, just very, uh, I'll say, uh, healing. <laughs> so I am Roxana Steiner, as Peaches said. Um, uh, I I want to say that I, I live wholeheartedly. Um, I believe I have a gifted strength of uh, a, as an encourager. And I remember that all the way back to grade school of, of being like the, the, the class counselor that everybody came to tell, tell me the problems. Well, um, that kind of bled over into to my why and my, my passion of why I do what I do now. Um, throughout my life and experiences and through my own two children, uh, one, here on in, one here on earth and one in heaven, um, I've come to understand that, that every child has a spirit that is vibrant and alive and uh, that's full of joy and curiosity and wonder. Um, and, and I'll say, even midst of the, the stuff in the world that is going on in their environment. It might be um, even outside of a behavior, outside of a disability, outside of a, a developmental delay. There's this amazing child that is so vibrant. And I believe that it's our calling as adults in this child's world to, to, um, to nurture that spirit, to help them to unleash it to the fullest potential for them to be um, the child they were meant to be um, and born to be. So my hope really lies in believing uh, for a positive change in, in our society, one relationship at a time. And, uh, and that begins with our youngest generation. Um, so um, I'm gonna move to the next one. And that kind of acknowledges just to check in, we want to acknowledge, we know this is a video and you're watching it wherever you are comfortable in your, your own home maybe, um, but we want to acknowledge you. We don't want to leave you out. Um, we want to acknowledge if you're a home visitor for parents as teachers or another program, uh, we want to um, just acknowledge you and praise you for being a parent. Woo! <laughs> Hardest job on this earth, right? Um, for being maybe a coordinator, a leader, a director, owner, teacher, educator, uh, therapist, specialist um, in your field, trainer, coach. Uh, we call ourselves reflective partners, which is similar to a coach. 
um, whoever you are, whatever hat you might wear, we're, um, we just want to thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for all that you do for families and children. Mm -hmm. So, um, Roxana, else? Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say thank you so much for acknowledging just all of those roles. And if there's anything that we missed or we didn't say, you know, charge it to our brains and not our hearts because both of us are very passionate about the work that is done. We know that in our field of early care and education, a lot of emphasis is given on supporting children and supporting uh, the families. And it's almost like an afterthought sometimes mm -hmm. as it relates to the people who are actually doing the work. And so we want to make sure that you know that we, um, value you, mm -hmm. seen, you are heard, and you are appreciated. And so here is kind of our upfront contract as well as, as we say how much we appreciate you. We want you to give us a little bit of grace because this is the first time Roxana and I have done something like this. And so we're just going to ask for a little bit of grace, but we're definitely here not to teach you anything per se. If that happens, absolutely beautiful. We're here to motivate and inspire and ignite, refresh, encourage as much as we can the work that you are currently doing with families. And what we are very hopeful that you walk away with is knowing the importance of how attachment plays a, a huge role and building relationships, secure relationships with children and with others.